finally achieved something I've been meaning to achieve since I got this game. Above the law. Do I want a super yacht? Of course I want a super yacht. Who doesn't want a super yacht? And, uh, you know, there are other many, many, many ways to sink your money into this game if you're a upwardly mobile gangster type. Absolutely. It's what it does best. But there are certain things that I have been waiting for, dying to get, that have been held back for me because of my level. I was not level 100. Well, now those barriers are gone. As you can see, the vehicle mod unlock, um, armor upgrade 100%. That's a big deal. But not as big a deal as the three things that I really wanted when I got to level 100. And so let's start acquiring those things. First thing we need to do is go to Warstock Cash and Carry. This. The part of not a, I'm, I'm not a hipster update, the dubs to 6x6. Six six. And you might say, why would you desperately want a dubs to 6x6? Six six? Well, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of the British show Top Gear. And they did an episode where Richard Hammond drove the real-life equivalent of this. It was a Mercedes that had six wheels through the deserts of Dubai. And it's one of the, you know, it's just, I just love every episode of the show. I can't say it's one of the best episodes ever because they're all that good. But I desperately wanted one of these in silver. Ever since I saw that episode. We're going to bring it here. Purchase paint. Now, it's interesting that they didn't give me a color choice on that. I wonder if that's the only color you get it in. And can we paint it to make it even more silvery? Now... While that's waiting, we can approach one of the other things that I want. This is my Dominator. Main car I use whenever I'm in a race in a muscle car setting. Now, as you can see, I've done it in the Steelers colors with, you know, white painted wheels, some yellow trim, blackout body. But the color that I really wanted when I got the Dominator was locked out the brush gold. It's it's very similar to uh, the color of my dad's 69 Mach 1 when it wasn't mostly primer, which it is now. But it'll get back there. It'll get back there. Now, obviously, other changes have to be made. This just looks goofy. Secondary color. We, we will go to a matte black. It stays the same as it is. Need to approach the wheels. Wheel type. Let's see. I think still muscle, but we're gonna go chrome rims. Might still keep a classic five, but I'm open to other things. This might be Muscle Freak might be the way to go here. They don't really have uh, wheels that approximate the wheels on, you know, my dad's Mustang. That'd be awesome, but it'd also be very specific. Classic ride now. That's, that's, I mean, the spoilers might work. Uh, let's see, it's probably between the spooners. And where's the, the muscle freak ones?
Those are the ones that are kind of working for me. The spoonies might be a little closer, but they're not exact. Where are they at? Yeah, that's not really even all that close. You can Google this with the stock wheels on a Mach 1, you can see what I'm looking for, but I think we're going to go with Muscle Freak wheels. And then, you gotta look at the lights. What kind of underlight adornment do we want to go with here? That worked really well when it was a Steelers car. Light might be a good idea. The crew kind of looks kind of neat. White might work even. The purple's a nice contrast to it. The black light is just a different version of the purple. And that light blue kind of works too, the crew color. Let's try crew for right now. Let's see, I don't want to change the roof line. Like the stri you know, like we didn't have the stripe, but it's either, you know, lose all the stripes. We did I do want the side stripes. I think this looks good. I think, we're, I think we're in good shape. This is exactly the way I wanted it to look from the get-go. And I think it looks a lot... Although I do dig my uh, my Steelers paint cars, and I still have a bunch of them, this is, uh, this is definitely a look that you might see more of as things going along. It was important to do it on this one. I'm starting to think I might I might lean this way with the uh, with my, uh, my supercar, my Entity XF. But we'll see. That still looks really good black, so... Let's exit. That does look that does look cheeky. I like that. Rockin'. Now, to the gun store. Nothing like a gun store open twenty four seven. With special things. Right I up can take here. the serial number off anything you buy. Excellent. Just been unlocked the RPG. Yes, that's right. Load this up with as many rockets as it'll take. Twenty. Black tent is pretty good for me. Yeah, the gold tent's not working for me. We'll leave it as black. No other options. We're good to go here. You've racked up some more ammunition rewards points. <laughs> that would be an interesting thing if they actually did that. Now, I know what you're saying. You have the homing launcher, but the homing launcher ammo is so expensive. And it can be a little slow to fire. And you can snap off stuff from it. But again, and I don't think I don't think it has as much, let me see something. I don't think it has as much ammo to it. Yeah, you only have 10 rounds in the homing launcher, 20 rounds in the firework fire launcher, there you go, firework. RPG 20 rounds of beautiful rocket-propelled grenades, and that, that can be the difference a lot of times. You just want to quickly blow something the heck up. And then, it's, if you run out of your 20, you have a, a really good backup with the 10 from the great grenade launcher. So you have 30 easily blow something the heck rounds. And uh, then things get expensive when you get to the homing launcher. But that's a nice thing. If someone's suddenly bothering you in game, you take care of that. And here you have it. We've brought it to Tinsel Towers. He's looking good. And here we have the Dubsta. Oh, yes. It's in black, which should please me. As I am the Black Knight and all, but 
if I want to make it as Richard Hemedy as possible, and I, I should put that link in the description. We'd want to make it Silva. I don't know, it does look good black though. Well, I'm a little torn here. We have to take it for a drive at least, but. <laughs> Probably use a few engine mods, it's a little slow off the line. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? That should do the trick. Well, I mean, the nice thing about paint is once you've gone black, you can always go back, so we can certainly go. It has a primary and a secondary. Okay, so let's go with the metallic. Metallic silver, is that silvery enough? Bluish silver, rolled steel. I think shadow silver, that might be closer to stone. Oh no, that might be it right there. Stone silver. Midnight silver, so many silver. cast iron silver, so many silvers. Is there something in the actual metals? Pure gold. gold. Yeah, brushed aluminum probably looks the closest, but for right now, let's just go with this. Straight up silver. And we'll, let's leave the black accents right now. I kind of like that. And there you have it. I will certainly continue the modifications on this fine vehicle. And we'll keep you posted on that in an, another video. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night.